Assalamu alaikum. We know the opposition to the flow of current is known as resistance. In this video, we are going to learn about resistance and resistivity with the help of few simple experiments. Now I take two pencil leads made of graphite. They have same length but a different area of cross section. The area of cross section of this lead is more than this pencil lead. Now I will check the resistance of offered by these two pencil leads with the help of Multimeter. I have set the multimeter to read the resistance. First, I will check the resistance offered by resistance of this thick pencil lead. See, it is 8.5. Now, I will check the resistance of this thin pencil lead. It is 12. Point five. This shows that this pencil lead provides more resistance compared to the thick pencil lead. This shows that resistance offered by a conductor to the flow of current is inversely proportional to area of cross section of the conductor. This shows that the resistance offered to the flow of current by a conductor is inversely proportional to area of cross section of the conductor. I will perform one more experiment to show the resistance offered to the flow of current by a conductor is directly proportional to the length of the conductor. For that, I have connected a pencil from which I have removed the wooden part to become the lid visible. Here, uh, this pencil is connected to the negative terminal of the battery and the positive terminal is connected via bulb. Now uh, I touch this part to the lid of the pencil. See what happened? When I do so, the bulb do not glow. Now slowly I bring uh, this end towards right. When I do so, you may find uh, the bulb starts glowing. As I move towards right, the brightness increases. Now you can see, as I am coming close to the right side, the brightness increases. When I have become very close to this, the brightness has increased. This is due to the reduction in the length between these two terminals. This shows that the resistance has reduced with the, the decrease in the length between these two terminals. I will keep it here once again. You see, here the brightness is more. Now I will move in the opposite direction. Now I am going to increase the length. When I increase the length, of the conductor, you can see the brightness where less current flows through this bulb. So the brightness is decreasing as I move away. And at one point, due to the highest resistance, the bulb is glowing hardly. Hardly can view the bulb glowing. This shows that resistance offered to the flow of current by a conductor is directly proportional to the length of the conductor. 